Thanks for being with us here today, Representative. You know, I want to just share a little bit of what Speaker Boehner said yesterday after the speech. Sure. He, he said this, quote, if the president is frustrated by the mounting failures of his health care uh, law, it wasn't apparent today. Americans are looking for accountability. But what the president offered today was little more than self-congratulation. Instead of answers, we got well-worn talking points. Instead of explanations, we got excuses. Either the president doesn't grasp the scale of the law's failures or he doesn't believe Americans deserve straight answers. Uh, what's your response to that? Well, I mean, I think what it's very important that we figure out what is wrong with the system and get it up and running. But just like you had the governor on, you know, a few minutes ago, states that are supportive of the law, that are doing everything they can to make sure that they provide insurance for their population, things are going okay. The rollout in California has been okay. There's been a couple of glitches. But, you know, as the president pointed out, there's a lot of other aspects to the law for people who are already insured that are extremely important, such as people being allowed to continue coverage if they have pre-existing conditions. So what is broken needs to be fixed right away, but it certainly isn't reason to say we need to scrap the whole Affordable Care Act. Why do you think here, Representative, the administration uh -huh. isn't giving us the numbers such as uh, how many people signed up? I mean, President Obama yesterday really didn't explain what the problems were specifically. Well, again, I'm not sure what the problems are. I'm not sure how technical they are. And then I think one of the issues, because this has been an issue for California as well, is how you document how many people have applied. So California has, on, in the first couple of weeks, over half a million people access the website. And California is beginning to report numbers, but it's going to take a few weeks before the numbers are actually accurate. So I don't know if it would have made better sense for him to just throw numbers out there, but I think what What's most important is that this be fixed right away because it is unacceptable how it has happened so far. You know, we've been looking at the implementation, right? That's what we're really focusing right. on at the moment. And we look at the idea of exchanges. They've been around for more than a decade right now. And the president even comparing it to Amazon.com, which has also been around for about that long. Some say this is more a management problem and not a technical problem. What do you think? Well, I think that we'll probably get to the bottom of that, which one it is. I suspect it's probably both. But having said that, again, I don't think that's an excuse to call for Secretary Sebelius' head. And so what we're going to have on the Hill in the next couple of weeks is a whole series of hearings wanting to uh, essentially have her fired. But I think it's mighty ironic for my Republican colleagues who shut down the government because they didn't want to see health care go forward, now complaining that it's not working well. They need to make up their minds. Uh, I do think that the health care reform law needs to be supported, and we need to do everything we can to make sure that it's worked. Well, Representative, and not just it, use it as an excuse. If not Kathleen Sebelius, then should some contractors be released? This is a $400 <laughs> million dollar project. This is not a small amount of money. Absolutely. And you know what? I definitely think contractors need to be looked at. But I have to tell you, I think contractors need to be looked at in a lot of different areas of our government, as we've seen, even on the intelligence side. So I think that that contract needs to be examined. Again, we need to get to the root of the problem. But the goal should be fixing it so that people can sign up, not using the problems as an excuse to essentially attack the administration or attack the secretary. Congresswoman Karen Bass, thank you so much for your time today. Jonathan